I teach evidence, trial practice, and I do a post-conviction clinic. We represent clients who have been through trial and direct appeal uh, and are still challenging their conviction uh, or their sentence. And so we, we represent them in what are called post-conviction proceedings. So we're looking at eyewitness testimony, looking at a lot of uh, testimony that's commonly called snitch testimony, where somebody got benefit of a deal for themselves in exchange for testifying against another criminal defendant. And I think everyone has an interest in, in fair play for people who are targeted by the government uh, for liberty deprivation. Government's very powerful, obviously, and if they choose to build a case against you, it's very difficult to defend. We want to try and make sure that the process is as fair as possible so we don't take away people's liberty wrongfully. Uh, because we're actually, I mean, we're talking about serious deprivations there where people lose 20 or 30 years of their life, potentially. Um, and so it, I think it's important for everybody uh, to, to have faith that we do have a fair system and we don't have that type of mistake being made. And what criminal defense lawyers have been saying for years is that the system is very fallible, was in fact accurate, and there are a lot of people who have been wrongfully convicted. We have to turn over all the stones again and look under them not accept anything as a given, um, shed all of your, your predispositions about what you may think about a case, uh, and just do the work again.